Police canines risk their lives just like human officers. So now EMTs in the Bay State are working to make sure they're ready to assist those dogs in case of an emergency. Matt Foran takes us inside a Nero's Law training session as the state looks to train EMTs before an important deadline. It's all hands on deck between now and a February training deadline across Massachusetts. Veterinarians are working with EMTs now able to treat and transport police dogs should they be hurt in the line of duty. From CPR to treating wounds, these members of the Westwood Fire Department got a crash course on giving life-saving measures to police dogs, all part of Nero's law passed in 2022 that allows emergency crews to treat and transport hurt police dogs. The importance of this law is to get some basic CPR, some basic um, oxygen support to them and be able to transport them in the rigs so that they have the ability to keep them stable until they get to where they need to go. The law requires the training of the state's EMTs with three hours of education to make sure they're ready to help canines. They really want to be here and they want to learn what they can do, what the differences between humans and animals and dogs are, and what they can really do to save a life of, you know, a fellow public safety. Employee. The deadline was pushed back a year to this coming February. The Massachusetts Veterinary Medical Association has coordinated the training of over 3,000 EMTs. The group is planning more regional trainings over the next six weeks. It is, of course, still quite an undertaking to get 20,000 EMS trained, um, you know, and we have 351 cities and towns in Massachusetts that are all affected by this. So, again, it really is this team effort. Nero's Law is named for a canine who was shot alongside Yarmouth Police Sergeant Sean Gannon in 2018. Sergeant Gannon was killed. Nero survived. At the time, he wasn't able to be taken by ambulance for medical services. And if we're going to be offering emergency services when our law enforcement officers are injured in the line of duty, then it only makes sense that the extension of their canines would be part of the response as well. In July of 2022, Mass State Police canine Frankie became the first state police dog to be killed in the line of duty. He was believed to be the first to be cared for under Nero's law. Advocates say these trainings will help to ensure police dogs get the care they deserve. We treat our, our people to a certain standard and to, for these dogs that are doing such an important job, they're, they're so often the first ones in they say pause in first and they're the ones going in and risking their lives so so to be able to make sure that they're safe is huge the mvma says lawmakers on beacon hill are considering another bill that would allow emts to be trained on more advanced care for police dogs like placing an iv catheter and intubation that would be voluntary if it's passed i'm matt fortin